YouTubers, Mike Martin's here, Mike Martin's channel. I want to send out a big shout out to everyone watching my channel. And just want to say good morning to everybody. Big hug. Happy Monday morning. I'm off to drop off a pile of laundry. Laundry. Uh, um, whole pile of stuff I sold over the weekend. Um, on eBay. eBay's doing real good. Okay, guys. Now, I got a main question. I got an important question I want to ask you guys. And it's... I don't know what it is, but I just... For years now, I've been talking about this housing crisis. I've been talking about that things are severely overpriced, unaffordable. Uh, supply versus uh, supply versus demand is an illusion. All this stuff. Now it's all coming to light. Everything's coming to. We're all seeing it now. I was yes in my predictions. I was a couple of years behind, a year and a half to two years on some predictions behind, um, because I wasn't factoring in all the government um, meddling. Right? It's really hard. Oh, now we're going to do interest only. But instead of keeping our Economy is on autopilot like they're supposed to be. There's too much government meddling. And we don't want governments meddling in our banking, in our everything. Everything. Carbon tax and all this crap. They're meddling. The more meddling they do, the more it costs us in the long run. Just remember that. The more help we get, the more it's going to cost us. Okay, so what am I talking about, people? I want to bring this one up, and it's kind of important. And this, this one's going out to my friends down under in Australia and New Zealand. I don't know why I, 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 was, I am so, like, wrapped around Australia because it's, I see it as the main domino key. And I've been saying this for a long time, so I'm not just bringing this up. It's the main key of the equation that falters the rest of the English-speaking world when it comes to the housing crisis, economic crisis, quantitative easing, interest-only crap. Uh, Australia didn't really have a real crash in 2006 and 7. They just fixed or came to the rescue with artificially lowering interest rates. That's what they did. And just so did the UK. And so did, uh, so did um, Canada, right? The U.S. did it because it was a measure of quantitative easing and then, then starting dumping money into the markets, uh, stock buybacks, and, and buying out, uh, just, just creating debt out of thin air. We all know this. We, we know this. This is not new. But what I'm saying is we've created a Frankenstein. Victor, Victor Frankenstein created a monster, and he couldn't destroy it before it destroyed more and hurt more people and this is what's happened now the government propping the 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 scandals the the like the royal commission in australia looking over the books are wondering what the heck is going on here so today i'm going to see if i can get andrew baker on i got some construction work in the house today i got uh, uh a friend actually came and uh him and his his wife came together actually and they're going to spend the next couple of days laying some floor for me. Crown moldings and trims on the entrance there of the house. It's hard to get anyone to help you. So everybody's been busy. Even this couple, they've been busy for the last two years straight. Because everyone's been buying houses on the coast and then fixing them up. Everyone from the coast have been selling their houses and then putting them up for sale. Uh, selling their houses, fixing homes here. Because you could buy a house under 300000 here. Oh my god, I'm so tired. Holy Jesus Christ, I'm so tired. Anyways, guys, I wanted to put this out there. I want to know what you guys think. I know that Australia is the tipping point for all English-speaking countries. They've been in a bear market for... Sorry, in a bull market for I don't know how many years now, their housing market... Phenomenal. Just absolutely phenomenal. Since 1975. So, we'll see what happens. If, um... You know, they're, they're, they're throwing out new light there and, 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 and uh, easing investors that uh, China's quantitative easing is coming out. Now, the problem with China's quantitative easing and propping the markets is that all China's going to do is what the U.S. is doing. is exporting inflation. That's it. 
That's all it is. Now, China's major export won't be junk you buy at the dollar store and at the Walmart or the big W. Woo! -hoo! It will be exporting inflation. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Am I delusional to think that Australia is the tipping point of all the English-speaking world? I've been saying this for many years now. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Don't forget to watch Trends in the Housing Market from last Wednesday. Oh, man, was that a great episode. I had a good advisor on from Australia. I had a couple of people on from all over. Real good trends in the housing market. Look for the link around me here from last week. And look for Mike in the Night. That was a good Mike in the Night show, too. Good panel of... Uh, of guests that are uh, that are on here. Anyways, I want to know what you guys think in the comments below. I'd like to know. I really would. Comment below. Thanks for watching.